Hey Cancer, it's Suzanne here to do your weekly reading for March 9th through the 16th. Alright, so we're going to start with three oracle cards. This is one of my decks, okay, um, and it's called Messages from Divine Timing, okay. So this will tell us where the connection is focused right now. Is it focused in the past? Is it focused right now in the present, which is the strongest energy, by the way? Or is it focused in the future? All of the readings that I did before the retrograde se season ended were literally focused in the past. And yesterday's readings still focused in the past and one in the present and then today's so far all in the present or the future it's interesting retrograde mercury retrograde ended yesterday so that's you know interesting Right, so this deck is called Messages of Light and Alignment. All right, so let's start right here, Cancer. What do we have? This is what I'm talking about. We have a card from the future. So it says, I will only move forward based on all elements of the situation. So... What that's saying, okay, when we're talking about elements, we're talking about um, pentacles, wands, swords, cups. So, you know, I feel like you and this person are taking everything into account. You're only going to move forward, you know, if, you know, you're correct in your thoughts, in your feelings, in your actions in your earthly realm, in your, um, you know, in the 3D world. So, I will only move forward based on all elements of the situation. That's, that's basically saying, you know, I'm ready. What do we have here? No more separation. Some type of separation is coming to an end for you, Cancer. What do we have over here? Manifested abundance finds you. We have a very clear message here. A time of separation is ending, and it's like everything is coming into alignment. All right. Woo. All right, so the top row is going to represent you, and the bottom row will represent the person you're watching the video for, of course, in a general reading. You can switch the characters if it resonates better for you. All right, so what do we have here? We have the Four of Cups. So it's like somebody, you know, there are three cups down here, okay, that have spilled over. And what is she left with? She's left with one cup. 
I love this Four of Cups because she's actually holding the cup. In a lot of Four of Cups, or even in the traditional Four of Cups, it's like it, the cup is hovering over her head and she can't see it. This Four of Cups says that you see, you see this cup of love that's there for you. You know it's there. Even in spite of the fact that these th previous three cups have spilled over, you know that you hold this one ace of cups ready for a new beginning in love. And then we have the nine of swords. This nine of swords has showed up in this position quite a bit. Remember, the reason I don't like the nine of swords is because I feel like it's a big waste of time. This is a you know, a terrible energy to choose to be in. So Four of Cups also has the connotation of focusing on the glass half empty versus the glass half full. That's why I like the fact that she's actually holding that Ace of Cups in her hand because she physically sees that it is a full cup of love ready to give. Over here... <laughs> You know, it tells me that, you know, you have, even though you have this Ace of Cups right in front of you, right in your, your hands, in your fingertips, you're still doubting it. You still have a tendency to focus on these Three of Cups that have spilled over. It's like you're thinking, well, why won't this cup spill over if these three already did? So... This energy here, this Nine of Cups, truly is telling yourself stories that aren't based in fact, but are based in, you know, possible past experience, possible worry, but it's not based in fact. You have no reason to be thinking this other than negative thinking or lack of belief. lovers. So that says, that speaks to this Ace of Cups over here. The lover says that there is a very strong connection between these two people. Okay. And this card says you have all the tools. You have all the elements that are required to move forward. This card says no more separation. And this card says Manifested abundance finds you. And this card is right under this lover's card, which is about a strong attraction, a strong connection, the potential to have this Ace of Cups. This is soulmate type of connection. So why? Why is this? Nine of Swords here in the middle, separating your Ace of Cups and the connection. That's what's separating it. Down here for this person, we have, we have the Tower. So this person might have gone through or is realizing or having a major realization in their life. This is major change. It's like there's an energy of you pulling this person in. This person is the one that's going to experience the majority of the change in order for this connection to come together. Three of Pentacles. What did I just say? This person is going to experience the majority of the change to come together. Three of Pentacles is about coming together which is about what this card says too. And then we have Knight of Pentacles. So this is, this is the card of getting it done. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is the knight that you can always depend on to get things done. So this is the person down here that, you know, they might even be asking themselves, what am I doing? 
why do I feel this strong pull to get this done with you? And it's because there's definitely, there's a pull towards you. No more separation. Manifested abundance finds you. I feel like this card is speaking to both of you in different ways. Like this card is saying, listen, buddy, we're pulling you in <laughs> and you may not even realize it. Okay, this person has been manifesting you as well, but I feel like your energy is, is stronger in some way. Let's see. I'm going to start here with this lover's card. All right, so we have the crone of air, which is the king of cups, or king of swords, sorry. Um... You know, I feel like this is about your standards, your standards around a connection. High standards around the connection with this person. This person in some way, in a lot of ways, meets your standards, which are truthful. And then we have the emperor. So not only does this connection make sense to you from an emotional standpoint, it makes sense to you from a practical standpoint. Like this connection is very practical for both of you. You know, and I don't find myself talking about um, connections being practical All that often but there's something about practicality here that you know it's like everything just fits suddenly everything just fits nine of swords we have the four of Pentacles the reason that you are doing this to yourself with the nine of swords is because you feel like you have to hold back to allow this person to be drawn towards you. And I'm going to tell you that you don't have to hold back. Five of Pentacles. There's some deep part of you that, you know, feels like because this person might have left you out in the cold in the past, Five of Pentacles, you're afraid of that again. That's your, your worst fear, is that this person could come back and then simply walk out of your life again. That's what I feel like these Three of Cups possibly represent here, is the loss of this person in the past. But you have all the tools, you have all the elements to, to make this work or to have this work. Let's see what this person, what this tower is for this person, this major change. King of Wands, integrity, confidence. This person is experiencing a major change in their life that that builds up their confidence and allows them to come towards you with integrity. And that might have been something that was missing in the past, right? And then we have the Nine of Wands. So again, we're still asking what is changing here. This person in the past had to be very, very cautious when it came to you. But now what's changing is their confidence is going up in this connection because now 
it can come together in a way that has integrity where that might have been missing in the past. All right, so Three of Pentacles is about coming together, clarified by the Hermit. You know, I feel like that this person down here, the knowledge of coming together with you has been, you know, a really heavy burden for this person, you know, and it's caused them to really, you know, almost prefer to be alone. Coming together and the card of being alone. It's like the fact that they have spent time alone it is allowing them to make the changes in their life that they need to make, which allows them to come towards you in a more confident way, maintaining their integrity, which is what needed to change. It's what needed to happen. One more. Six of Cups. So we have two sixes. We have two soulmate cards here. Six of Cups, you know, this person, since the two of you separated, since this person, I feel like this is the person that left you out in the cold in the past. You know, They've done nothing but reflect on the positive times that they had with you, which were many. And they could go back, these memories could go back a long way. You know, where they just kind of relive certain situations that, certain experiences that the two of you had together. And that could be why this has been so hurtful for you. Because, you know, this... Four of Cups can be the breakup card. This person might have really, really hurt you at some point. And now you're very tentative towards their energy. I want to pull a card on no more separation. Ten of Cups. Complete emotional fulfillment. That is what is, that's what's drawing this person back. Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, drawing them right back to you. All right, so manifested abundance finds you. We have the king of wands again. So you might be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, because we have king of wands down here and king of wands right here, which is manifested abundance finds you. King of wands is abundance, is confidence, is this charming, beautiful, you know, masculine energy. But it's a masculine energy with integrity. King of Wands is also the only king that, you know, represents single. So this person, if they were not single in the past, they are single now. And they are seeking emotional fulfillment. They had to go through a lot of major changes they hurt you definitely in the past, but lovers, the connection, the strong connection and attraction is definitely still there. And this attraction connection could definitely be a soulmate type of connection. All right, so what is coming for this connection?
Oh boy. All right. What is coming for this connection is a complete 180. And the reason I say that is because we have the Ten of Swords and the Sun. There are no two cards that are more opposite from each other. So if you're completely in this Ten of Swords right now, meaning feeling betrayed, feeling like life has not been fair to you, being, you know, miserable on some level, you're going to go from this to this almost overnight, which is the sun, which is bliss, happiness, beautiful, the most beautiful card in the deck. So this represents a complete 180. Beautiful. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you. Um, I will be doing uh, Friday readings. They'll be topical in nature, so um, you know you might get a different perspective on your story. So check that out, and then uh, if you're looking for a personal reading, I'm always here for you. Just reach out. You will get a response quickly. And if not, no problem. Um, I will talk to you on Friday. All right? Thanks so much. Have a great week. Bye.